All right, what's up? So this is a cage progress video. I guess it would be number two. I kind of started the process, but stopped um, because of complications and other stuff. But yeah, I'll just show you where I'm at right now. Um, so basically, first off, found out my frame is not straight. So that's cool. I kind of already knew that, but it's pretty much messed up on that side and the other side. Better on the other side than this one, but anyways, so here's what I've started. I started doing my cage and then got sidetracked with another thing, which is that, oh, I can't really see, that E28 out there, and it's a whole other story, but, um, so basically it's been sitting like this for a while. I'm, I was working on this thing outside and it started raining and all this, you know, fresh metal got kind of rusty, so I got to wire wheel it and, and everything, but I started with the plates. Um, the plates are bent up to right along here. I guess that's safer. Um, the welds are pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. Um, basically, I was burning through to the undercoating on the underneath, and it was causing lots of impurities and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm going to just try and cover that up the best I can. Um, it could be worse. Could could be a lot better, though. So... There's that, um, and I got the other one over here. Oh, I'll show you something. So, basically, I don't know if you remember, but there was a huge hole in my floor, so I had to do a bunch of like floor repair. Um, yeah, it looks really bad right now because it's all rusty. Um, so yeah, I freaking had to kind of shape this piece the best I could to my floor and. Get it to work and then i put my other plate in here and um so let me fix my door handle um ow. and then i got my other plates getting ready to put up here and i already cut and measured um my everything pretty much i already bent my main hoop um i got my door bars bent and cut to the right length well I made them actually long so I can kind of cut them in place and then I got my down bars which are going right here um, yeah and the four doors I probably would have been better off going back down to the um, frame back there but my buddy has one here and it passes tech and yeah, I just decided that's where I wanted to go, so I still have to make that plate. I still have to make the plate that fits right there. But basically, I stopped working on it because I hired a private investigator, and he found my first car, which is that E28 out there. And I um, basically wanted to buy it. But I didn't have the money, so I had to take a loan out from my father, and so that halted all work on this thing. So I'm gonna start getting back into working on this thing. I'm gonna finish the cage and put the hydro in, hopefully before the end of this month, maybe. I haven't decided, but most of my time is going into working and paying off my E28, but I'll do a link to the story behind that and whatnot. But yeah, that's the cage update. I don't have the hoop and the bars are at my work. Um, so, can't show you that. But you'll see it soon enough, hopefully. Who knows? <laughs> so, I forgot to mention why everything is, is so rusty inside my car. Basically, I had the sunroof out because um, I wanted to get the best clearance to the roof of the car as I could when I was bending the main hoop. And... I didn't have it back in, and then it ended up raining that night, and my windows were down, and so basically my whole car filled with water. It was really not fun at all, and that's kind of like when I stopped working on the cage, because I was like, I don't know. Also, my car broke down on the way home while it was filled with water, which is in another video, so yeah, anyways. It's been sitting in my garage for about a month or two. Maybe not two months, but 
that's why it's everything's so rusty because it filled up with water because I didn't properly cover it. Dang it. But yeah, anyway.